Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows 10 calculator for some reason is not installed or appearing on your Windows computer. So I personally have had this happen before and I've ended up downloading additional apps like a Windows 7 calculator view and whatnot. And that's very frustrating and this is after you've already reset the Windows 10 calculator app, which I will show in this video nonetheless as one of the methods. but I just wanted to put that out there so this is a somewhat common issue and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And First thing we're going to actually do is open up the start menu, type in apps, best match check on back with apps and features, we're going to go ahead and select that. So in search this list we're going to go type in calculator just for the fun of it and it should be something that says calculator here if you see it, if you don't well, we're going to have other options we're going to go through in this video. I just kind of like to go through the easy stuff first. And we're going to select Advanced Options. And scroll down and then select the Reset option. If the app isn't working right, reset it. This app will be reinstalled and revert to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. Select the Reset option. So select Reset. We'll take a moment here. Please be patient. Once you have a little check mark, you're good to go. So close out of here. Again, we'll try opening up the calculator app at this time. Hopefully, it would work as expected. So we're just going to open it up here just to show everybody it is installed on this computer. If you are still having a problem, we're going to go open up the star menu, type in Windows PowerShell. Best match to come back on Windows PowerShell. So go ahead and right click on that. And then select Run as Administrator once you have the context menu on your screen. So just like it's taking a moment for me. So I'm going to select Run as Administrator. Select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And I'm going to have a command in the screenshot video. I want you guys to copy it. So just highlight over it, Control C, or right click and copy whatever is easier for you. And then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it, left click on Edit, and then left click on Paste to paste it in. Give it a moment to run here. And once you have Blink Cursor, go ahead and close out of here. So once you're done with that, you will need to restart your computer. So just go ahead and restart your computer. That will be a requirement because if I actually tried to open up calculator right now, it's not actually going to appear. So just keep that in mind. So I really want to stress that you do need to restart your computer once you have run that PowerShell command or else calculator will not be on your computer. So with that said, restart your computer. Hopefully you're good to go. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.